Right now, if I put the frost over it, it won't look all that great because it's going to be in focus. But I'll show you what I mean. I'll take the frost white new and put that on top. Again, it acts like a layer, even though it's got two layers in the original one. But over here, it's just one layer. I double click, by the way, to go back and forth to this guy. So the frost white new, if I go forward a little ways, you see it animate on like that. But we want it to look more realistic than just this stuff kind of appearing on the scene. What is that, right? It doesn't really look like a window right now. So we fix that by making the trees be a little bit out of focus and also adding some snow. Now the cool uh, snowfall effect is the CC snowfall. I'll go click on this thing over here and go snow. And there's this CC snowfall. I'll double click on that just to add it to the uh, trees or I'll drag it down to the trees. I won't double click because I didn't have it active. And you see there are all kinds of properties. Rather than me explaining all these things, basically we're going to increase the number of flakes, increase the size, make the depth much bigger, that kind of stuff. I'm going to go cheat a little bit here and go get the one that I made originally. So I'm going to click on you, go to project, and open up the uh, window right there. I'm going to select the trees, go to effect controls, and I've got a snowfall camera lens blur to make it blurry and curve to kind of darken it a bit. We can select all those three if you want to. I'll just click on this one and then shift click on that to select all three. Press Ctrl or Command C to copy them and go back to this one here. I'm going to apply those three to this one by opening up the Effect Controls panel and getting rid of the current snowfall, deleting that. Do Ctrl or Command V to paste. And there are those three effects, but we're first going to take a look at snowfall. So we've got a lot of flakes. It's a you know, quarter million flakes. <laughs> and we've got a uh, huge scene depth. And the reason for the scene depth is that this allows flakes to be close to the camera. Let me turn off the frost for a second. See that flakes will get close to the camera here. See these guys here? They're kind of large and also off in the distance. And this parallax here, it's really amazing. The ones that are close move faster, at least that's the perception, than the ones off in the distance. So it's a very clever effect. It really works pretty well. And then I also added a little bit of camera blur to it. You can just take a look at the blur radius and things like that in terms of how this thing works. And I added, changed the curves a little bit. I just pulled down the brightness a bit and then made it a little bit darker here at this end as well. Didn't do much, just to make the scene a little bit darker outside. It looked a little bit too bright to be snowing, right? Okay, so that's how that works. And now I want to give it a vignette, so I'll, I'll go forward here and turn on the, the frost. I want to put a little vignette around here so it kind of looks more like this sort of fog that you get on a window. It's pretty easy to add a vignette. Just right click here and add a solid layer, new solid. And we'll make it white. We want it to be white for sure here. Click OK. I'll put that solid underneath the frost and above the trees here, which basically makes it a window. Right now it's not looking the way we want it to look, right? But I'm going to put a mask on it and let the mask control the edges of this thing. That's how we work with this. We're going to add a mask to it. And I want the mask to be equal to the size of this thing. So to do that, it's very simple. I want it to be rectangular. I go up to the Rectangle tool here and double-click on it, and that adds a mask to that layer. Since the layer was active, it didn't add a new shape layer. It added a mask to the layer that was active, and there's the mask. Open it up a little bit like that, you see the mask there. So I'm going to invert it so that way it makes this layer transparent, which is, seems counterintuitive, right? But you see how it works in a second. So now the mask is not protecting this area. It's actually making it transparent. So this is white that's now transparent. But we're going to adjust the feather. If I make the feather larger, you see that we kind of start pulling in the edges of the window there. It looks like frost along the edges. That's pretty cool, right? And you can adjust a few other things. You can adjust the opacity, so you can drop that down a bit, like that. And you can also adjust this kind of growing in like that to match the growth of the frost if you want to animate the keyframes for the mask feather. And you can also adjust the expansion. This will also kind of help you as you bring in the vignette around the outside. So there you go. That's how you put frost on a window.